Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm on this deck today and right now we're kind of finishing up putting on the uh, cap board of the rail on today and I wanted to show you how to go about um, cutting your obtuse angle. Sometimes it can be a little tricky and kind of some tips there. One thing that'll make your life really easy is an angle finder like this. Um, it's a digital angle finder. I also have this kind which is can be a little difficult to read. It works really good for miters like baseboard. But for doing something like this, I like to get the exact angle readout. So right here, <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is use my angle finder to go and bisect this angle here. So what I need to do is get my angle finder to plane out on the face of this. And that's where I'm gonna find where to break my angle. So I take my angle finder, put it flush on the face. So I'm planing out flush on the face of the two by four, and that gives me 142 is my angle. So what you do with your angle, that gives me 142 degrees. You're gonna take 142 and subtract that from 180, 180 degrees minus 142, that gives you 38 degrees. So that's your angle, you're gonna need 38, and you're gonna bisect that. So you take 38 divided by two, and that gives you 19 degrees. So you're gonna have, a, this is the 19 degree cut, exactly on your miter saw. So whatever obtuse angle you have, you're gonna subtract that from 180. That's gonna give you your angle, you divide by two. And, you know, so there's your degree to cut on your saw, if that makes sense. So there you have it, there's a little trick um, for cutting obtuse um, angles where it's greater than 90. Like I said, that was 142. We subtract 180, or subtract 142 from 180. And then you divide that, which is 38 by two. So that's a 19 degree cut here. Um, for instance, on this cut, just to kind of show you one more so it makes sense. So there I have 127. So I would take 180 minus 127, 180 minus 127. 53 divided by 2 is 26.5. So that one was 26.5 each way. I'll show you how to go about here. Or 155. So it's the same deal. 155 is an obtuse. So basically 180 minus 155. 25. I'll take that divided by two, so that's 12.5. And tie this all up. We just tacked them on right now. Um, we're gonna take them off the stain, and then they'll get their final um, adjustment and ins installed. Uh, what looks kind of nice is on to cut a complementary angle on the bottom um, to kind of finish that board off. And I'll come back with my router and hit all these ends, um, kind of ease all the edges. Uh, I'll show you that in the finished product when we get it all stained. But yeah, this is kind of the solution we came up with with this bare deck over. I ended up flipping all the deck boards on this main level. Um, that's what she was concerned with. This is the area she really uses. So all these are flipped. I still got to sand them and stain them. Um, we're instead of the seating, we're just going back with the same rail on the front. Um, the railings all getting painted. This is getting stained. I'll show you the stain we're using. I think it's going to look real nice. Uh, we rebuilt all the stairs, cut new stringers. But the, this was the original. The bare deck over. This is a flipped over board. I wanted to see how the stain would turn out um, on a older board that's weathered versus a brand new board. You can see that doesn't look the greatest, kind of orange, but this looks really cool. Um, 
it's kind of a darker stain she really wanted kind of this as close to this as possible and i would say that's a very good match um this is cabot stain that i'm gonna try out it's supposed to get hard wood floors outside it's cabot gold um it's kind of a satin finish this is fireside cherry so you have to brush that on i'll kind of do a review of that stain to see if it's kind of if it's a good stain or how it holds up but yeah so we're staying in that top level and then we're going to paint this down here to match um she didn't want to pay to flip all these deck boards just because she doesn't really use it and then we're going to stain the um cap rails getting stained to match the upper level of the deck so i'll kind of film um installing some of this cap rail and show you how i go about it but thanks for watching uh please go to meyer construction hit like hit subscribe and keep hammering so doing this top rail if you want all your um, joints to plane out real nice and your miters to look good you definitely want to make sure it all planes through i got a little hump right here i'm going to take care of my planer okay so i got that plane down now i'm going to take my angle finder turn it on This will be another obtuse angle. So I have 153. 153.1. So I'm going to subtract 153 from 180. So 27 degrees. And then you divide that by 2, which is 13.5. Alright, I had the board flipped the wrong way. That was the right angle. I think it was um, like 13. 27 divided by 2 so yeah 13 and a half and you can see how critical it is to have your um, your rail level um, for your miters what you can do is shim it up I'm just tacking these on right now and basically I gotta figure my long point up to here and the way I'm terminating up top is the complementary angle which it's not perfect but it just will look nice from the top i took my planer and planed it down to get this miter to uh, turn out just right um, sometimes you got to do that but you can see it's a nice tight joint so i'll tack this all down like i said i'm gonna take it off and stain it And I gotta mark the end. I'm doing a three quarter inch reveal. So to dress up these ends, I'm putting a quarter inch uh, round over bit, easing the edge. And these little details like this, I think really make a difference when they all come together. back and sand that to get rid of any lines back on the deck doing the cap rail it's late in the day I'm just trying to wrap up the other side I'll kind of show you some details which I think really make a big difference so I'm kind of dealing with some funky um, angles in and out like I said we're going back kind of with what they had <clears throat> So I've kind of had to just make things jive out. All the posts aren't in line, so my reveals are kind of off <clears throat> in spots. But one detail I really like is taking an eighth inch round over and just going on these board ends and then coming back with the sander versus just a straight um, versus just a straight cut across in here too. That's that detail. Um, just by taking that eighth inch round over really cleans things up and makes things look nice same thing going on over here you know it just really softens edges i still got to screw this one down and you can see here on this miter that's how off the boards are in width so i'm going to get it 
get it nice and tight. Probably let it overhang on this end and then take my sander and burn off that extra. But yeah, so I got all the cap rail on. Tomorrow I'm building the rail section right through here. And I'm really excited to get this stain down here. I think it's gonna look really good. I'm gonna let these new boards uh, dry out in the sun for maybe a month and then come back and stain it and I'll get, uh, get some video of that. But anyways, so there's an update for you. Thanks for watching. Please go to Meyer Construction, hit like, hit subscribe, and keep hammering.